This is the Mobile Home Park Lawyer Podcast with Fur Neiman. If you're looking to generate wealth and passive income in the lucrative world of mobile home parks, you're in the right place. You'll discover solutions to the common legal and operational pitfalls and how to optimize parks to maximize income. Your host is in the trenches. He's a real estate attorney, financial analyst, and mobile home park investor and operator. Now, let's turn it over to Fern Neiman. Welcome back, Mobile Home Park Nation. Here we are again today talking more about why you should invest in mobile home parks. If you seriously have not joined us yet and you're not investing, why the heck not? What are you waiting for? Let me guess, visions of... Confederate flags, pit bulls running loose, creepy guy named Larry, all the stereotypes you've seen in the media from the show 8 Mile, from the show Cops, all the stigmas. I get it, right? It's not sexy. It's not Bitcoin. It's not investing in Tesla. You're probably not going to get invited to the country club to you know tell stories about your trailer park, whatever they want to call it. Okay, I get it. But mobile home park investing is very misunderstood. And this ignorance can keep you from making lots and lots of money. Mobile home parks are the best investment. Okay, the best real estate investment, here's why. There's seven reasons I'm going to tell you today that makes mobile home parks an attractive investment for you, for me, for all of us. First off, what is mobile home park and why is it attractive? Okay, the main, the first reason right out of the gate, it's a real estate investment, but it's a land lease community. What that basically means is you own the land, the tenants own the mobile homes, which means you don't have the same level of maintenance costs that you would in an apartment complex or another property. Land lease communities are great. You basically have a diversified group of ground leases from other tenants. So that's the first reason why mobile parks are great. The second reason is there's a massive need for affordable housing in the United States. I mean, really, tell me a community in this country that is not facing an affordable housing shortage. It's, it's nearly impossible to build affordable housing. It just costs too much. An hour of labor, a, you know, a brick, a window, it's too much. People can't do it. People aren't building it. So you have government subsidized projects. Those aren't very popular, and there's only so much tax money you can throw at this problem. And those products are typically inferior housing alternatives. So what we've got here with the mobile home park industry is the opportunity to provide this quality, affordable housing that is so much in need. Okay, the third reason why the mobile home parks are great investments is because there's this gap between supply and demand. You know, Economics 101 is thrown out the window at mobile home parks. As I mentioned, there's a ton of demand, but where's the supply? Well, there's a barrier to entry, also a barrier to competition in the mobile home park industry. And the reason there's no supply coming or very limited new supply is because government agencies hate mobile home parks, okay? They want to reject them. It's hard to get zoning. It's hard to get development. Cost of development is expensive. Mobile home parks typically are in, you know, more urban, you know, high price areas as far as land costs. So there's just not a lot of new product coming. So that creates an opportunity for everybody that's already got a mobile home park or everybody that buys an existing mobile home park to you know, set themselves up in a good position. Unlike an apartment or a shopping center, I mean, nobody's going to build a new one down the street from you. There's limited competition, which obviously helps from a pricing perspective, which I'll get to a little bit here in a minute. The, the next and fourth reason why mobile home parks are great investments is because we offer superior product for the price. I mean, our customers, they're not staying in downtown sky rises. They're not staying in McMansions. They're looking for an affordable housing choice. Generally, all in between $800 and $1,000 a month for a two- or three-bedroom house. Well, that puts them in the air, in the land of crappy apartments, you know, Class C apartments that are you know typically $0.90 cents to a dollar square foot. So a 1,200-square-foot apartment is about 1200 bucks. Mobile home, we can get you in a 1,216-square-foot, 16 by 76, brand-new single-wide mobile home for about 800 bucks a month. Wow. Talk about pricing difference, and then what, that's so size is one fact, but what else is good about our product? In an apartment, you got somebody above you, you know, they're jumping up and down, chasing their kids, somebody on the left, smoking pot, somebody on the right, playing their drums or guitar, yelling at the, yelling at the TV for the Chiefs game or something, and it's kind of a crappy environment. Mobile home park, there's nobody on top of you, nobody left and right of you. You've got a yard, you've got a grill, you've got a dog, you can have all that stuff. You can have a parking space right in front of your house. You're in a neighborhood with trees kind of a scenic location even. I mean, I've got mobile home parks with uh, dog parks and with playgrounds. Some of them have golf courses and pools and big clubhouses. So the product is just far, far superior. Okay, the fifth reason mobile home parks are great investments is because of sticky tenants. Basically, this is low turnover. Mobile home park tenants don't leave nearly as often as apartment complex tenants. They, the typical 
tenant stays for over eight years, is what the research says. And part of the reason is because it's, it's they're not really mobile. I mean, it's kind of a misnomer. It costs five grand to move one of these things down the street. And if they're older than 1976, it's illegal to move them. Even if it's younger than 1976, sometimes it's impractical to move them again. So by not being mobile, they're not as price sensitive. If you increase the rent five bucks, ten bucks, nobody's moving. Fifty bucks? Maybe, maybe not. Now, you can't gouge people, and that's not what I'm implying you should do. But... These tenants have been uh, char- paying below market rates for years because Ma and Pa that lived in the double wide on the corner just never pushed the rates because they were friends with them or because they didn't understand how to run a business. And part of that's the reason these parks, have, some parks have gone downward. Um, so it's our opportunity to increase the quality of the park, increase value to the tenants, and, and then they'll stay. And I, mean, I, increased, I had a park in Illinois that I increased the rent $50 uh, right out of the gate. And nobody moved. Nobody even complained. Why did they not complain? Well, because we were providing a better value. The park was in disarray for years and years and years. Well, we, re- we right out of the gate, repaved the streets, added decorative fences, put in rose bushes, put in a playground, painted a bunch of houses, got rid of the old houses, got rid of a couple bad tenants. We started doing all this in the first month or two. Then we sent out our rent increase and went from 122 to 180. It was a $58 increase right out of the gate. And you know what? People didn't care. They were, they've got a better value, and that was okay with them. Just like I, I pay a little extra for razor blades or for toilet paper or for trash bags. I don't buy the cheapest version of those. Yeah, they're cheaper, but the quality is far inferior, so I'll pay up a little bit for good quality. And, and sticky tenants will too. Okay, the, the sixth reason why mobile home parks are great is because it's they're in a fragmented industry, meaning... There's very few large players, large owners in, the, in this in this asset class, unlike some of the other asset classes. And it, it, there's a lot of mon pa out there still. You can buy a park from somebody that you know doesn't really own two, ten, a hundred parks, and is not as sophisticated. And again, I'm not saying you should take advantage of people, but it, there's an opportunity for deals. I've bought in parks from 95 year old guys on one or two occasions, and I, they just said, "Here's what I want." I said, "Okay, deal." And I paid their price. They just said another hundred thousand. I just said, "Okay, deal." Two hundred thousand. Okay, deal. So. They were happy. I closed. They got their money. They got to retire. And I got a great deal. Um, Also, being fragmented, the industry has not yet been consolidated. And that'll happen at some point, like the other asset classes, where a a small group of really big players are going to buy up a a good portion of the entire industry. And if you have a a park when that happens, and again, it has not happened yet, if you own a park or or two or three or ten at that time, you're going to get paid a premium. So it's, it's good to be in the game before the business gets consolidated. Okay, the seventh reason why mobile home parks are a great investment is because you have the ability to fill vacant lots. So in a mobile home park, if the lot is vacant, it's pretty much worthless. It's not paying you any lot rents. It doesn't have any valuation. An occupied lot depends on your depends on the rental price in your market, but an occupied lot is anywhere from twenty to fifty thousand dollars in value. So there's a huge incentive to fill those lots, okay? Well you can do that. You can't in apartments, like I can't take a sixteen unit apartment complex and like create sixty four. There's not really room, right? And I can't so what do you what can you do? You can push the rents a little, you can make it you can do better operations, and maybe you can cut some expenses. But that's only that only pushes your yield so much, right? But a mobile home park I can turn zero into 50,000. I've got a park here in the Kansas City market that when we bought it, there were 21 occupied homes out of 93 lots. This was December of 2018, so just under two years ago. We are already at 80 occupied lots. We've been buying homes left and right and selling them left and right. Each one of those is going to add about $40,000 of valuation to the asset. And that's just, that's the best part. I mean, you can put sweat equity in. You can run a better mousetrap than the last guy by working smarter and harder and you could double triple quadruple the asset value in a couple years and what does that do your yield i mean you start talking about interim rate return not in the double digits but the triple digits i mean that's happened right and it seems i don't believe i've done it Uh, we'll get into the financial metrics in another episode but this ability to fill lots man it is the best Uh, one of the key things that makes mobile home parks great again i get it mobile home parks they're not sexy you got to get over that. Get over the stigma. You got to understand, cure your ignorance, get in the game. Join me buying mobile home parks. That's it for today. Click on my website to get a copy of these seven reasons why mobile home parks are the best. And I look forward to talking with you guys in the near future. 
You've been listening to the Mobile Home Park Lawyer Podcast with Ferd Neiman. Ready to learn more? Go to www.themobilehomelawyer.com for free resources and materials to help you succeed. If you love the podcast, go to Apple Podcasts, give us your review, and subscribe today. Thank you for listening. Neither the Supreme Court of Missouri nor the Missouri Bar reviews nor approves certifying organizations or specialist designations. The choice of a lawyer is an important decision and should not be based solely upon advertisements.